So I just made some tomato salsa and I thought it would be good to show you guys how to do a tomatillo salsa or a green salsa um, since I've still got plenty of all of the stuff that I need to do that. Um, tomatillos are related to tomatoes. They are, um, they come with this little husk and interestingly you really need to have two plants in order for them to do well which um, everybody always talks about nightshade family tomatillos and tomatoes being self-fertile. Turns out that's not actually really the case in the case of tomatillos. They produce way better if you um, have a second plant. And it's funny, I tried to grow them when I was living in Colorado and I had really limited space and I never got fruit and I never understood why. And then years later, um, read someplace that you really need to have a second plant and um, I was like no and I googled it and looked it up and confirmed it in a different source I was like sure enough that was the problem the whole time I was in Colorado was I only had one plant um, I sell tomatillos uh, in one pound packs through our local food hub and so these are kind of the scratch and dent um, you'll see that you're gonna hear that a lot from me um, over the course of the summer but I actually think it's really good for people to see that you don't have to throw food out just because it doesn't look perfect. Um, the amount of food waste in this country is obscene, um, and we are way too picky, in my opinion, about everything looking perfect. Um, so these are slightly scratch and dent. Um, generally, that means that they fell off the plant or they split, um, and so they're just, they're, there's one here I might trim a bit, or they're slightly bruised, um, but they're not gonna, it's not gonna be a problem. Um, they're a little bit sticky when you peel off these husks. Um, they have a little bit of a stickiness to them that's kind of disconcerting. Um, let's see that one. Yeah, that one's probably, I'm not going to bother. Um, as long as there's no mold in there and no, no bugs making a home, we should be all right. I just have a few of these. So this is going to be a tiny little batch. I'm probably going to put everything in together. Okay, that one's split. Um, yeah, so, and they have, you can see the difference in coloration here. Um, the, the more dry the husk and the yellower the husk, the sweeter they are. Um, and so they definitely are a little bit tangy when they're green. Um, and it depends on whether you like them more sweet. Um, I almost always end up using them pretty sweet just because um, that's when I tend to pick them. Um, but in Mexico, my understanding from um, seeing people, um, seeing Hispanics buy these at farmer's markets is they really like them on the green side. Um, they want them to be tangy. They're not looking for that sweetness. Um, and they would always look at my tomatillos that were very sweet and yellow and kind of snub me <laughs> um, and be like, no, nah, that's, not, that's not right. You don't know what you're doing, woman. Um, but I like a little bit of sweetness. I, it doesn't bother me a bit. Um, so I'm going to throw this in here along with probably a half of this small onion. And honestly, the recipe for salsa that I am gonna post um, is, it's exactly the same for, for making tomatillo salsa, you just substitute tomatillos. So a ratio of about um, one part onion, one part pepper, chilies, and two parts tomatillos. Um, so in this case, when we did the, the tomato salsa, we had a cup of each and then two cups of tomatoes. So a cup of onion, a cup of chili, two cups of tomatoes. This is probably more like a half of that. So, um, and actually maybe even less, um, but it's still gonna be that same ratio of onions, peppers. So I'm gonna guess that's about a quarter cup of onion maybe a third of a cup, about, we'll do something about similar with the chilies. And then we've got the tomatillos in there, which were probably, by the time they're chopped, maybe a little over a cup, I'm guesstimating. We'll see what this breaks down to when it gets blended. And I'm gonna make this a little bit less chunky than the tomato salsa. So a little more, a little more saucy.
Beautiful. So that looks like about a cup and a half. So yeah, we did okay. Um, so this is gonna need some salt, some garlic, and some lime juice. And you can eat this on chips. It is really good on chicken. You can also use it as an enchilada sauce and make like chicken enchiladas that are smothered in this. Um, lots of different, also very good with eggs. Um, so people are always like, what do you, what do you do with tomatillos? And it's like, well, pretty much anything you can put salsa on, you can put tomatillo salsa on. I have a recipe on my blog for a canned, um, tomat roasted tomatillo, dried chili, and tomato, fresh tomato um, salsa that is really fabulous. And it's from the Ball Blue Book, but it's from an older edition and they've taken it out of the current edition. Um, so I'm happy to have documented that for posterity because it's, it's really a good salsa and it's a fun one because it's got a mix of things in it. All right, we're gonna do, this is a smaller lime than what went into our tomato salsa. And we're just gonna do a half a lime. Oh, that's a nice juicy lime. All right, small clove of garlic, cause this is not a big batch. really nice fresh garlic. It is always so nice to grate because it just disappears. It's so juicy. All right, a little bit of garlic. And then we're gonna do At least a quarter teaspoon, maybe about a third of a teaspoon of salt. I'm just guesstimating, but. get happy. You guys ever watch Emerald way back in the day? He used to always say, let that get happy. All right, a quick taste for salt. Yep, I think that's okay. But we're gonna let that sit and we'll come back and taste it in a half an hour or so when everything is kind of blended together. All right, this green tomatillo salsa has been sitting for about a half an hour now, maybe a little longer than that. And we're just gonna give it a taste and see where we're at. Mm. Tomatillos have such a distinct flavor. They're definitely sweeter, and yet there's kind of a tang that's hard to put your finger on. Um, so yeah, it's just a different, whole different animal from tomato salsa. But I think this is very good. I don't think it needs anything. Questions I'm asking myself are, does it have enough heat, as in spiciness? Does it have enough acid? Um, does it need more lemon juice or not? And then how is the salt level? Um, those are kind of the things I'm thinking about. And 
I think we're pretty much here on this one. That sweetness is going to help counter some of the spiciness. I'm noticing this is not quite as spicy as the tomato salsa that I made, even though I used the same peppers. Mm. So there you go. Fresh tomatillo salsa. Super yummy. Great thing to do. And really good, remember to put it on top of things. So on eggs, on enchiladas, on tacos. Um, it's a sauce. Use it on all kinds of, of delicious meals, especially in the summertime.